There's some really exciting research being funded by MLA that I got to look at in outback Queensland that's putting military technology to use in battling a different kind of enemy, weeds. And yes, that technology is all about flying robots. The annual cost of weeds to Australian agriculture is estimated at $4 billion. For red meat producers, the problem is often woody weeds, with the potential to invade almost 70% of mainland Australia, controlling weeds such as prickly acacia, mesquite and parkinsonia is a thorn in the side for producers. At a property level these weeds can uh, cost over $100,000 per property per annum where you've got larger dense infestations and that's primarily from lost productivity, lost cattle and sheep production. That doesn't include management costs, extra costs of mustering, tyre and vehicle damage and a whole range of other factors. But help may be on the horizon. MLA funded research by the Australian Centre for Field Robotics is examining whether automated systems could provide a cost effective solution. Unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs have long been used by the military but improvements in flight control, navigation and sensing capabilities have brought the cost down seeing UAVs increasingly used in applications like agriculture and firefighting. This is the ground station where we control the unmanned aircraft from. We have a symbol here with a red circle, which is us, the ground station, and these green lines are showing the tracks that the aircraft is going to follow. Trials near Julia Creek in Queensland are verifying the system has potential. The plane we're using here is about three and a half metres wingspan. It flies about 25 metres per second or nearly 100 kilometres per hour. This pre-programmed flight plan in these trials is at 100 metres of altitude and we take about four frames per second with the camera. The advantage of using unmanned aerial vehicles is that we can fly at a lot lower altitude, meaning that we can build up a much higher resolution of the ground. Sophisticated navigational data storage and camera equipment captures and stores high resolution photos where each picture represents around three centimetres on the ground. But it's not just the use of UAVs to capture the imagery which makes this project special. It's the mathematical formulas and algorithms used to analyse the data to automate the mapping of weeds, which is the real innovation. We can actually distinguish individual objects by picking out tree crowns, um, picking out bushes, shrubs, segmenting that from other types of data that we see in the background like grasses and uh, waters, you know, other trees. We can start to see things like the texture, shape, different colours of types of branches and thus use these properties to distinguish between different types of plants. The team is also testing whether a second UAV, a hovering helicopter, could automatically deliver herbicide directly where it's needed. One aim of this program is to be able to process this data in such a way that we can use um, standard off-the-shelf laptop computers um, to be able to give us a turnaround time of a couple of hours from when we fly our fixed wing system and collect data over a broad area to where we can process that information, detect species and different types of weed, geolocate those weeds and then pass that data on to our hovering UAV system which can then come along, hover over um, our different species of trees and weeds at a lower altitude and actually deliver herbicide. It's pretty exciting to think that technology like this could one day help detect and control weeds, but a commercially available system is still a little way off. Currently the system we're demonstrating is a small scale system and we're working out what type of algorithms, what type of images we need in order to best detect the weeds. Once we've worked out what works, we'll then be transitioning it to a larger scale so that we can cover larger areas and more typical of the farms that one would find in central Queensland. With weed control costing around $100 to $400 a hectare, it's worth finding a cost-effective solution. Aerial surveillance for weed detection using a normal fixed wing or hovering aircraft can cost up to $600 um, an hour to operate. A UAV can operate at you know, well below $100 an hour. So just in, in terms of operational costs for weed detection, you know, uh, automated systems like UAVs can operate very cost efficiently and they also reduce a large significant labour component out of things. We're lucky to have a Civil Aviation Safety Authority that's very progressive and very forward thinking about our flights of unmanned aircraft here in Australia. So we have a great opportunity to develop systems for crop monitoring, weed finding, water loss, all these sorts of areas, atmospheric monitoring, and we can actually lead the world in this area of research. Well, what's exciting is that we can 
perhaps map these weeds across multiple properties within a short space of time. It will provide a management tool direct into the producer's hands that um, weeds officers and, and technical officers can go in and help um, producers to better manage the problem. I mean this project is an example of where we're looking at new technologies in other areas that can be applied to the industry and with the with the prime purpose objective of reducing that cost of production. It's a very rewarding field being able to see uh, a use of a technology like UAVs which has typically been used in defence applications now being quite helpful and beneficial in civilian applications like um, agriculture.